So, Microprose are back and they are publishing some interesting games right now. Today we're looking at Carrier Command 2, which is a game that could take hundreds of hours to play a full campaign if you wanted, and has downtimes of maybe 30 minutes at a time perhaps, between intense combat or just kind of doing the job capturing islands. Today we're going to be doing something a little more intense. I'm going to set up a deliberately small scenario and we're going to go hunting the enemy carrier. Now you can have up to 64 islands. We're going to bump that down to, I don't know, 10. And we'll have one opponent. And we're going to go out immediately and hunt them down. I'm also going to advance our loadout to expert which will unlock some extra technologies from the bat so we'll have access to more of the advanced tech to play with to attack the carrier with. So we'll go over to start. Alright, welcome to the command deck. We are in a berth and first we need to do is power up and start the engine and deploy the carrier. So we slip free. Put on a little bit of power. Let's have a look at this map, we're going to zoom it out, and my personal favourite mode for that map whoops, is the ocean current, you've also got the others, I tend to put the others on the side monitors, so over here we've got fog, I tend to put it on rain, Let's see we've got good weather for the moment. Alright, let's go look at what we've got equipped, so we're doing 45 knots, actually going to bring that down just a bit, we don't need to be going that fast at the moment. We hop over to the vehicle station, so we've got a whole bunch of slots, let's start loading them up. So we've got Mantas, so I'm going to load these up with AWAX radar for detecting enemies and we're going to give them some, if you can find it, air to air missiles and torpedoes because we are hunting a ship after all. Alright, so let's get all these aircraft loaded up. In fact, I'm going to also add countermeasures to this guy. So we'll load up all the aircraft and I'll cut over and we'll see what their setup has. Alright, everything is set up, so we're going to hop over to the elevator and down to the flight deck. Alright, on deck, so we've got our four aircraft set up for the moment. We've got the two UAV type aircraft, they've got a torpedo each and an air-to-air -air missile, as well as a flexible mount camera. The two mantas at the back lit up again with two torpedoes each and two air-to-air -air missiles with this one. If I have a look underneath, you can see there the AWACS detection dome radar. So hopefully we're going to use that guy to find the enemy carrier and then we're going to send these guys out to engage if we go down to the deck below which is just back through this door and down one more level. Unfortunately the elevator doesn't go all the way. This can be a little awkward because the ship rocks and then your character doesn't so you can't fit through the door anymore. And... There we come. So we've got a couple of vehicles, walruses and seals, the small guy. They're all just armed with turrets. And in a naval battle they're not massively useful but we can drop them out the back and deploy them as an anti-aircraft gun or I guess you could call it a mine almost. That's how we'll be using them. They'll be there to uh, hopefully we'll drop them off in the path of the enemy and they'll attack anything that's attacking us so we'll be using them defensively for today. So we'll head back up to the command bridge. Alright back on the bridge so we've got our hollow map here. This is our kind of overview. There are many stations in this ship, and it's a bit of a pain to do it on your own, to be honest. You need a few friends, really. It's a bit overwhelming. So we've got, like I said, the, the overview, command view. We've got the vehicle control stations, where we can order vehicles around, and also see the status of the defence on islands. And if we pop out of there, we've got things like the landing, CCTV at the hangar, our weapon stations, helm, power and repair, and our logistics, where we can set up supply barges. So we've got a barge here, we can assign them to the warehouse, and we can also assign where these want to send their supplies. And we'll assign the warehouse to ourselves, and now the barge will ferry resources to us, and if I attach him to that one, he'll ferry the chassis to the warehouse, and from the warehouse to us. Alright, so we know the enemy's out there somewhere, they're not going to be very far away, so we are going to kick up to high power. And to make us go just that little bit faster, for the moment we are going to switch off our radar, and weapons, and we don't need the repairs. That should speed us up nicely. So there's a bit of power management which we can see there. 
use less power on other systems, we can attribute them to things like the propulsion. In the meantime, this sea is a bit rough, this might be a bit difficult. I want to launch my fighters to try and locate the enemy. Alright, so we're going to click on our carrier and we're going to pick our first manta with the AWACS radar, we'll send him out. And we'll send him up nice and high. And we'll do the same for the other aircraft. So that's our airman getting airborne. And we should see on the monitors up here. There we go, you can see those pixels there, that's our aircraft approaching the elevator. And the status of what's going on is shown by this display and the elevator here. So there we go, the elevator is now equipped and is rising, so if we pop out we should see him on deck in a moment, here he comes. Now, unfortunately there's no way to park aircraft on the deck, so when an aircraft launches, good god we're uh, in heavy sea. So as the aircraft launches it will go to here, launch, and then, and only then, will it start bringing in the next aircraft. So it's a bit slow, we can't have, say, an aircraft parked here, here, and here, and then have them all take off in quick succession. So I'm going to try and point us, actually, because these swells are a serious danger to my aircraft. I don't want them going into the sea when we launch, so I'm going to actually try and steer away so we're not going into the troughs of the wave too hard as our aircraft takes off. Little janky as he disconnects from the carry there, and off he goes. Now I don't know if they will crash into the sea or not. If we launch them off at the uh, the wrong moment, they might. So I'm doing my best to avoid that as the next aircraft comes up. We have spotted the enemy carrier. They are launching torpedoes at the side and they're working to capture it from the looks of it. Our aircraft are in trouble. This guy's been shot at by that boat down there. So I'm going to set up quickly an attack if I can. And my carrier's over here, so I'm going to try and head toward it at a slow speed. So let's bring it around. You can see now why we need so many people on board the ship, ideally. So bring it around and I need to slow down. And we want our weapons and uh, radar on the ship. Alright, maintain heading for me, and let's get the AA and Seawiz armed. And just in case, we'll also have the flare launcher, cruise missiles, and the main gun, and torpedoes, and I want loaded torpedo, torpedo, and noisemaker. Bearing is good for the moment. Let's increase the scale on this. Alright, so let's get back up to our vehicle station. Alright, there's a missile there, and an aircraft, and a couple boats. Now these guys have got flashing exclamations when they've been attacked recently. I want to attack their carry with some torpedoes. How are we doing on fuel? 80, uh, sorry, 90% and 88. Alright, we're going to set up a torpedo attack now. They've got one aircraft in the air, so I'm slightly nervous about that guy. We're going to bring this guy down to low level. And then we'll try and time this guy to follow that up. And the goal here is we're going to drop torpedoes at the end of these runs, manually, and then see how we do, and get closer, reload the aircraft, and attack again, probably. Alright, so this aircraft looks like he's on his way. So let's take control of him. Now, I think that the carrier is out in front of us. It's one of these sets of lights, I think it is, if I take manual control. Now, unfortunately the controls aren't so great here. Alright, there's a the torpedo, and we are going to fire one, and fire two, and then we are going to get out of here, which is a little bit of a slow job, because these aircraft are not that performant. And we're going to order that guy to get out of there. He's launched his two torpedoes, He's got a missile, looks like it missed him. There's another missile there. There's one arm in 10 seconds. He's actually flying toward that. That's not a great position to be able to expedite this guy. 
and I don't want them all coming at the same time because I'm manually going to control them, so I'm going to need a patrol for that guy and we'll make a patrol for this guy to keep him in position and ready. The carrier appears to be going away from us that way. I'm actually going to bring our carrier closer, so we'll speed up and bring it in toward that mess. Back on the heading. Alright. Uh, did this guy spend... yes, this guy spent his, air, his uh, missiles, but he has got air-to-air -air left. Sorry, his torpedoes. This guy's just about ready to launch his missiles on the carrier. There's a missile in the air. It's going for this guy. I think you need to come out of the way just in case, and we'll put another patrol there. Alright, let's take control. And we should have the carrier right in front of us. I'm taking control of the two torpedoes, which is a bit of a nuisance if I'm honest. And we're going to drop those two. And then we're going to get this guy to turn around. In fact, because he's so close to the enemy, I'm going to do that myself, because these guys can be a little bit lethargic with their turning, and I don't want to get him into trouble. Unfortunately, the AI in my experience has been a little bit lacklustre. They have a habit of just cruising around at, you know, nice sedate pace as they fly out of the combat zone, rather than trying to run away at pace, and uh, that can get him into trouble. Alright, let's round up the next guy, send him in. So again, he has two air-to-air -air missiles left, so we can use those defensively. There are enemy aircraft, as you can see, so I'm a little concerned by those guys. This is a Manta with countermeasures used. He's been shot at. And the two torpedoes, and one of these two albatrosses. In fact, that one's used his torpedoes to send him home. This guy has torpedoes, so we're going to send him into attack. Looks like our torpedoes are in, indeed homing in, and there's a fight going on over there. We should hop over to this screen got a nice digital view and it shows all the paths our aircraft are taken and the enemy carrier's position. Alright. So torpedoes are coming in on that guy. Let's get this one on course. There's a missile coming at him. Oh, I've got to hope those countermeasures are worth it. I'm going to get him to drop the torpedoes as fast as I can. There go the countermeasures. Whoa! Fire the torpedoes away and I'm going to take manual control and get this guy out of here. Full power. You might notice he wasn't even full power there, he should have been, he wasn't evasive, he wasn't doing anything. Now there's a boat somewhere out to our right. Let's get him out of the way. I'm flying this with a keyboard, which isn't ideal, but uh, you could also fly with a 360 pad, but I've not found any way to bind it to a joystick. Right, that guy should be just about okay now. Pull him out. Uh, torpedo's taken that ship instead, unfortunately, with that group. Uh, right. That's the Albatross. Looks like one of our torpedoes hit and one of them has been decoyed. Our first Albatross is coming into land. This Manta can come into land as well. We'll send this guy in, just keep him in position to support if we need it. And let's get the next set of torpedoes going. Right, torpedo, manual, manual, manual. You can see the carry right in front of us. And he's launched on us. Alright, torpedoes are away. In fact, he hasn't launched on us. Whoops, didn't mean to come out of that. He hasn't launched on us. He launched on someone on the island. He's distracted. Alright, we need to manual control and turn this around. You see, he's shooting down aircraft over the island. Those are neutral controlled islands. They've got their own defences. So he's not focused on us at the moment. And we're going to get out of here before... Uh, they pay us any notice, I hope. Just get out of here nice and low. Alright, there is a missile chasing us. Looks like we'll be alright though. Hope we'll be alright. Oh, yeah, that was close. And I've just come out of the view again. I press Q by accident. Alright, just keep him in full power. I said I don't trust the AI. Yep, missile incoming and we lost him. Alright, well, one aircraft lost. Two missiles, uh, torpedoes going straight for him. Let's pull in our last guys to land. If we have a look, we actually see in the pattern is they've got a, a vague kind of approach to case one. It's mirrored. <laughs> or it should be mirrored rather. The uh, the conning tower, command tower is here rather than here, so they're on the backside of our view all the time. We might be able to spot him. There he is, as he comes around to land. Now I have got some helicopters. They're not really great much. 
quite fragile, quite slow, but I could use them as a platform to launch air-to-air -air missiles, I guess. If we need some extra protection, they're not very good for attacking a carrier, they don't have a chance against uh, air-to-air missiles themselves. We'll put countermeasure on you. And I'll go with the heavy rotor for this one. Ah, he can't mount countermeasures, so no, we won't use the heavy rotor. Countermeasures and air-to-air -air missiles. And by now, that aircraft should be about ready to land. In fact, there we go, you can see the other Manta, 65 and 71%, they're all going around the pattern. So he'll be out here. There's one of our aircraft having been recovered already, as he enters the pattern into the break. Should be another guy around here somewhere. There he is. Now, how are we doing in terms of bigger picture? We don't have a position on the carrier. They were out there the last time we saw. I want to go north with the carrier, but because we got aircraft landing, I don't want to mess around with that too much. So we're just going to slow down, wait for our aircraft to get aboard. And in he comes. This is a horrendous approach. Any coast to a stop. But we are in an insane sea. Look at that, we're almost 45 degrees nose down. That's ridiculous. Alright, one recovered. So that's two out of the four recovered. We lost one. Here comes the last Manta. And there's our third aircraft down safe and sound <laughs> as we stare into the ocean right in front of us. This ship, as you might notice, is really kind of small. And the waves are gigantic, so it really does a number on the angle of the ship. So whilst we're on deck, the torpedo launcher is found on the back right. We've also got another one on the back left. And we've also got the uh, missiles, cruise missiles, and the main gun for artillery, as well as anti-aircraft missiles. And somewhere off the edges of the ship, there are a bunch of... Uh, see with self-protection guns they'll attack aircraft and missiles like that missile over there in fact so with our aircraft now back on deck and coming into land we're going to have to start rearming refueling them that's done automatically through the aircraft management panel here so we can see here that our aircraft is rearming that's the uh, yellow bar, we've got the purple for their fuel and blue for their health, so they are both rearming still. This aircraft needs to rearm and is just now on its way down to the hangar. So we'll get ready for the second sortie and we need to find the carrier again to carry on our engagement. So unfortunately for us, we've expended most of our torpedoes now, we haven't got any spares, so I've outfitted the aircraft for air-to-air -air and they're going to defend the carrier and I guess we're going to go in with the ship itself. We've got some torpedoes loaded and a couple spare cruise missiles and the cannon, so once we spot them, this will be good. So we'll get the aircraft back in the air as a protective role, there's the carrier. So we need to come direct east and start getting those birds in the air again, so switch over and heading to east, heading hold, and let's get the aircraft up in the air as quick as we can. So air defense cat flights effectively. Uh, I think there's a cruise missile coming at us already. Let's get those airborne. So we've got only three aircraft left. They've got the helicopters in reserve. These guys are complaining they haven't got enough ammunition for their flares, but it'll be fine. So as they get airborne, that is a missile. And I reckon it is coming right for us. So let's set up the cap there. And there. And him in the middle. So they're all patrolling that region. Those missiles are coming right for us. There's one. So, let's see. Seawiz are armed. They're not tracking yet, it's too far away. Let's go for the viewing scope. Again, it would be nice to have more players for this. There's a missile coming right at us. There's the second one. And there, there is the carrier. I'm actually going to put the guns on there. The guns being this cannon right there. Alright, let's fire a volley at the carrier so we get their attention. 
Here come the sea whiz. There's the missile. I think we beat the first one, have we? No, it's not quite made it. And that is a... is that the carrier? That is the carrier. Got fire up here. That's a heck of a splash. Alright, here come the missiles. One's down. Here comes the second one. Turn the map, it's a better view. Here come the guns. Got him. Alright, and the first aircraft is away. Where are our Seavis guns? I don't know. That might be one of them there. Yeah, just keep launching missiles at us. Alright, now, are there any threats in the air for us to worry about? There's that missile, but our Sea Wiz should take care of it. As we charge in. And we're at full power already. Let's see if we can't return the favour, actually. Let's launch some missiles at them. So, we want to pick the guided missile, take manual control. Now, where are they? They are over here. So, let's launch. No, not available. Okay, what do we need instead? Carrier missile, that'll be it. Ooh. Yep, there's the Sea Wiz again, and they're launching more missiles. Let's return the favour, come on. There we go. One missile out. And they've got to keep the crosshair nice and tight on them. There's our Manticates into the air there. First proper good luck at the enemy carrier. It's just the same as our carrier. There's a vehicle in the water down there, I think. Unless that's tagging the carrier, and might be tagging the carrier. Yes, the carrier. 3,000 meters, you can see on the left, they've just launched another missile at us. This is getting a bit uh, concerning. Alright, we'll just keep the aim on them. And of course, they probably just shoot down our missile too, but there you go. 1,500 meters. Let's sort of see, there you go. There's the sea, on the bow. Alright, well, missile was destroyed. Alright. We can do something else. There's more missiles going. We're going to get torpedoes going at them. Now, we can pick the bearings of fire here. Whoops. And, well, it's dead on our nose. Our nose is pointed to the right over here. And reduce that. In fact, now we probably want to keep that. And we're going to fire all of our torpedoes. And in a minute we're also going to fire off that noisemaker. Now I'm going to turn off the steering lock. We're getting real close now. Alright, let's get on the guns. And I want the carrier gun. And we're going to point it over. They're launching missiles. Fire the guns. I think we just shot ourselves. That's unfortunate. That's a bit better. See the gun at the bottom left firing at them. Good hits. I think they're launching missiles at our aircraft, unfortunately. Some more hits. Looking good. No ammunition, come on. Get us more bullets. So we ran out of ammo in the magazine, and unfortunately now we're waiting for the reloads. Uh, torpedoes, have we got any left? Load, load, and load, please. Ooh, okay, that's a big bang. Uh, right. Weapons on the right have been damaged, the hull's damaged. I want the weapons on the right back as soon as possible, ideally. I don't know one if that was. That was a big bang. It's a good chance that was a torpedo, thinking about it. Have a look on here. Alright, so our aircraft are in trouble. They haven't launched any aircraft. The carrier's almost gone, actually. I'm thinking... I might try and hit them with those helicopters. I'm going to load up the... heavy helicopters with two rocket pods. And we're going to have to hope that their air defences are down. Give them the cannon. Loading up. Ooh, okay, we're in trouble. How are we doing on damage? Uh oh. 20%, sub 20%. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we might be about to lose right, right before victory. Uh, I'm going to chuck all the vehicles out the back and hope they distract them some and turn away from that carrier. Whoops, want that display back on. So let's bring ourselves into the north. It's possible the islands are attacking us now. Uh, steering lock on so we keep steering while I'm away and I want to prioritise the hull now because that is bad. It's sub 20%. Turning away. We've lost the anti-aircraft missiles. That's no good. Are the seawiz good? Yes they are. Airtware is damaged. We have missiles. Uh, we have some cannon actually. Maybe we can get them yet. How's the rearming doing? We are armed and armed. Good. All right. They've got missiles coming at us. Oops. Not quite what I want. These guys, unfortunately, are going to be a bit stranded at sea here. That's a missile, I guess, coming at us. I hope the seaways are awake and will shoot that down for us. Oh, we're both in dire straits here. Okay, so let's get the VTOL to attack. Can we attempt to attack directly? Yes, we can. Um, trouble is, I put the waypoint all the way over there now. But there, and here, and let's send them in. Gun and rockets. Come on, hope the Sea Wiz does this. Because we can't afford to take any more hits. Looks like we're all right. Have we lost all our uh, existing aircraft? I think we have, sadly. Oh no, they are still out. 80% and 85%. Trouble is they're out where I need to get them back on deck, I think. So let's bring them a long way around. Get them to land, I guess. And we'll give them air to ground. All right, have we got any more torpedoes loaded? Uh, we have one torpedo. All right. Well, we'll get a bit closer and we'll try and hit with that torpedo. Vitol are getting up on deck. It's uh, it's going to be tight. Unfortunately, I've got to leave those guys in the water. I have to collect them later, I guess. There's a missile coming in and it's defeated. Coming back onto heading to chase down the carrier. Carrier, too far. Carrier missile, launch please. There we go. And watch the second one. Oof. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Hope the missile didn't hit us. Missiles coming in as well. 5,000 meters on the left hand side. Go wait for it to arrive. Stabilize the view. As you see there, we've got our Vita who's attacking. Don't have a good feeling about this though. Uh, it's not coming for him, it's okay. 3,000 meters on our missile coming in from above somewhere. They've gained a bit of health since we last saw them. Come on. Looks like their uh, air to air missiles are down like ours are. See the aircraft on the right of our screen there. Come on, missile, where are you? It takes ages, and if I come out of this screen, it will miss, so. Not my favourite thing to do, to be honest. You need a player dedicated to this, ideally. Sea Wiz are going. Here comes their Sea Wiz. And uh, the missiles destroyed. Alright, we're giving up on missiles for now. Come on. Shoot something back into him, guy. Where's the other aircraft? I don't know. They're just kind of bumming around above him. Alright, um, let's pull these guys away, and then turn to guns attack again, and can I get his camera? 
Right, that's uh, not very productive, Mr. AI. Where is the carry? Is it that guy or is... No, it's this guy here. Alright, manual control, which is a pain in the butt to have to configure all the time. Whoops. Alright, pull him out and in. Not the best lineup. This one may be better. Right, manual control, manual control, manual control. And I've pressed Q again because I keep trying to roll with Q. And I think we've missed up our shot. Alright. Well, never mind. Let's get him out. We'll try this guy. Unfortunately, it's really tricky to fly these guys. They don't fly very well. We're running out of fuel. Alright, manual control. God, he's high up. It's a nuisance having to uh, grab those weapons every time. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, let's not do that. So these aircraft need to get further away to do their attacks. This is silly. Alright. So an albatross. You need to land, my friend. Oh! Okay, we got killed. <laughs> well, it was a good attempt. So that was, uh, well, introduction I guess to Carrier Command. Very much an instant action approach rather than taking it uh, slow, taking over islands. Uh, it's, I'm enjoying it, but it's it's got some caveats to it. I'm slightly concerned, but it's a pretty cool idea. It's uh, something I love, it, you know, commanding a carrier, but we'll have to see how it is when it launches. So I've got a link in the video description to Steam if you're interested. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.